Okay, I'm gonna start off the video by actually showing you the degree to show that this is real. Here it is, this is my bachelor's of computer science that I got at 19. I'm 20 at the time of recording this video. I got this last year when I was 19, so it's real. I am not lying, you are not clickbaited. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how I got my bachelor's of computer science at 19 years old in one year, as well as some of the reasoning or some of the logic behind actually doing like this and if it's a good option for you. This video is going to be completely unscripted. Um, I want to get used to and practice just picking up a camera and talking, so that's what I'm doing with this example. But before we actually get into any of the topics I'm going to be discussing in this video, before we get into any of the topics I'm actually going to be discussing in this video, I want to give you some context about me and how I actually got this degree. So my name is Muhammad Halal. Welcome if this is your first time. I, long story short, uh, took an accelerator path to get my degree so that I could focus on business and entrepreneurship because that is what I'm passionate about. So let's actually get into how I got this degree and how I came across it. When I was 18 years old in high school, applying to college like any other kid, I had already had a business running, which is my current business that I um, consumes me, which is what I'm working on full time pretty much. So I didn't really want to go to college. I, my business had actually been running and doing okay at the time, at least okay for a 17 year old at the time. And I was considering dropping the whole college thing altogether. But obviously having Arab parents, they weren't going to let that happen. They said I had to get a degree somehow. So I was like, okay, fine. So I applied to a few colleges. I got accepted into a few, um, a few local, a few abroad, a few foreign universities, and a few of them offered me full rides. The one that I ended up accepting their offer and attending was the New York Institute of Technology. They gave me a full ride for their computer science program. So I said, why not? Let's do it. Long story short, from entering that place in my first day, I was right about everything that I thought college was going to be. I hated the whole experience, ranging from the education and the people teaching to the social life to the crowd and the students that I found there. If you are a student or someone that lives in America, and you understand that you're going to be attending college or university for mainly one of two reasons. Number one, you are someone that values the social life and you want the college experience, as people say. And number two, you are someone that is there looking to get a degree or a certification that your future career path values or requires you to have. Those are the only two reasons. If you are someone that is looking to learn a new skill or pick up, uh, you know, a set path, a set skill or uh, a career path that you're going to make money from, then you should know by now that in our current world, there are enough resources online for you to teach yourself anything. My entire business that pays for my living, for my living and my lifestyle right now. I learned everything for that online on my own. A combination of courses, YouTube videos, articles. You can teach yourself whatever you need. Only thing is that you're not going to give yourself the certifications you need. Like for example, I wouldn't want a doctor that isn't certified. Or I wouldn't want an engineer building the bridges that I go over that isn't certified. So that's why you go to college to get that prestige and that respect. But even then, I would argue there are some people that have been passionate about these topics and taking part in it in their life since they were learning for so long that they might be more qualified than the person with the piece of paper. But that's a different conversation. So after my first day experience in college, I needed to get out of there as soon as possible. I had a moment actually about two to three weeks into it where I realized if I have to keep putting up with this for another four years, there's no way I'm going to be able to complete this course. Like I'm definitely going to be able to drop out. I'm definitely going to be dropping out and there's no way I'm finishing this. So this was around the same time that I started researching different options to get your degree faster or in another way that was aside from having to attend college as a full-time student. Coincidentally, this was also the same time that I was visiting a friend that I hadn't seen in a while. Just to give you some context on this friend, he is someone that is very similar to me in the sense that right out of high school, he started working, he wanted to make money, he wasn't really concerned with the college lifestyle or getting a college degree. And at the time he was in the tech industry. So me knowing him, I figured, okay, he took a course online or he entered a boot camp. He learned what he needed to learn to get his job, and that's how he's living his life. To my surprise, the second that I walk into his apartment, one of the first things that I see is this bachelor's degree hung up. And I looked at him awkwardly, and I was like, when did you find four years of your life that I hadn't seen you in to get this degree? And he was like, oh, no, bro, I got this in six months. My jaw dropped to the floor. He got a bachelor's of computer science, an accredited bachelor's of computer science in six months. It was as if God heard my prayers and sent me the answer right in that moment. So yeah, I asked him about it. He told me it was through this online university called Western Governors University. Long story short, Western Governors University is an online college that is self-paced. The way that it works is you're given the same curriculum that you would have been given over the four years of a normal university um, 
over a normal four year university path. However, you take it at your own pace in the, in the sense that you are given the material for each class separately. You would review and study the material on your own. And then at the end of each class, you would take a proctored exam in which if you pass that exam, you get to move on to the next class. So you do that enough times and eventually you get your degree. When I heard that without hesitation, I applied the very next day. I got accepted. I started my course in February of 2022. I did it with a friend uh, actually. So we started in February of 2022. We finished in February of 2023. And by February of 2023, that degree came in the mail, which was my accredited bachelor's of computer science that I got at 19 years old. So in simple terms, that's how I did it. I applied to an online accelerated college. I got my degree and now I had the freedom and the satisfaction and approval of my parents to be able to pursue my business full time, which is what I've been doing ever since. And it's the best decision I ever made. Now, let's get into the topic that I actually wanted to occupy more of the time of this video for, which was number one, why I did something like this and number two, if it's a good fit for you. So me personally, I am someone that from a very young age kind of knew that I wanted to be in a leadership position. I've always known that I wanted to end up where I am right now. And that path was definitely not down the normal path. Um, not to, you know, kind of sound cliche or anything like that, but I love business. I love entrepreneurship. I love being able to build things myself and create my own path. And so with that being said, the number one most important thing or important factor that I think I had before deciding to take the path that I took was having a plan. I didn't leave my full scholarship to a beautiful for university. Well, I say beautiful in the sense of, um, you know, the exterior presentation of my school. I don't know about the inside though, that's subjective to everybody. So I didn't decide to leave a full ride to a four year university without a plan. I had a plan from the very beginning. As a matter of fact, I was already enacting out my plan and building out my business before I even went to college or decided to make any different moves. And I think that's one of the most important things. If you are someone that, <clears throat> you know, was attracted to the title of this video, how I got my bachelor's of computer science at 19 years old in one year, because in any sense of it, you are just looking to get out of college early to sit at home or you don't have a plan or you don't have something that you're planning to do with your life outside of college. This is not the video for you. I am not here to advise you specifically. And that is because if you are just lazy or you just hate school or you hate doing your homework and you want to get out of it as soon as possible, what the advice that I'm giving will actually ruin your life. Because let's say you actually go through WGU and you even find the effort to finish it. You're going to find yourself at home with a degree that is probably not as credible as the university that you're in right now. And you're going to have nothing to do with it. And that's the next thing that I'm going to actually get into. WGU, for those who complete it, 95% of the time, like myself, had a plan. So the average attendee of this university is about someone that's in their mid, mid to late 30s. And the reason for that is because a lot of these people, let's say had internships in high school or midway in college, they wanted to continue forward with that internship because they had a full-time offer. And so they ended up dropping out without actually ever getting their degree. But now they're at a stage in their career in which getting promotions or advancing requires them to have that certification or degree. As I mentioned earlier, that's one of the reasons you would actually make the decision to attend university in America. So what they ended up doing was midway in their career path, they needed to get a degree somehow, but obviously they don't have the time to go back to a full foreign university. So WG is the answer for them. That's why me and my friend, when we did it, we were two of the youngest attendees to ever complete the program at uh, 17 and 18 years old when we started. So with that being said, when attending WGU, you need to make sure that you have a plan outside of it. I attended uh, WGU knowing that I was going to pursue business after I finished. So the degree didn't really mean much to me. And the people that attended on average already have a job they're working in. They're just getting this degree to get a promotion. So that's number one. Make sure you have a plan outside of WGU because that's what I did. Number two, let's talk about the actual worth of the degree. So as I mentioned, I specifically attended because I was already working on my business. I just needed to have a degree to approve for my, to get approval from my parents to continue on my business. So that's what I did. This degree is completely worthless to me. I am in as good of a position as I would have been if I never did it. The only thing that it really serves for me personally is to kind of a bit of a flex serves to tell people I did actually finish college and I got my degree at 19. That's the only purpose that it serves for me personally 
because I plan on being self-employed for the rest of my life. With the actual validity of the degree, let's say I drop my business and I want to get a, a, a job with the degree. It's a real accredited four-year bachelor. It's a real accredited bachelor's degree that you got in whatever time you completed. You can compete with other people that actually went to normal universities. However, when it comes to actually measuring the value of the degree, you're not going to be able to compete against every attendant from every college in the world. Meaning, if you are applying for a job in which, let's say, you're competing for that same role against a Harvard graduate, they are getting that job. And that is because, end of the day, prestige, whether we like it or not, still exists among employers when it comes to the college that you went to. If somebody hears that one guy went to Harvard and another went to WGU, they're obviously going to choose the Harvard graduate. So with that being said, what I'm trying to tell you is that if you're going to get a WGU degree, you need to make sure that you have, that is, if you are planning on getting a WGU degree and you're actually going to use it to work after that and you're looking to get out of, job, uh, get out of college early, it's best to have this degree supplemented with another addition. Meaning, let's say you're gonna go get a computer science degree from WGU. It would serve you best if you got the degree and then you also did a boot camp. It would serve you best if you already had a certain skill level in coding, you already had a portfolio built up, you were a freelancer, let's say, you had a list of previous jobs that you've done before, and you got the degree, so both of them look nice together. So that you could go to an employer and tell them, look, I have the degree, I did actually complete college, Maybe it's not the most important or the most prestigious degree in the world, but you just need me to be proficient in X, Y, and Z skills. I actually have examples of my work that are proficient enough in X, Y, and Z skills. This is going to help you look much, much better in the eyes of employers and people that will recruit you for the jobs that you want. This is in comparison to somebody that's going to leave, let's say, you know, a full ride to NYU or Columbia or any good school. And they're going to go get their degree at WGU just to accelerate the process. And they're going to get out. And the reality is they're not going to have as many opportunities as they would have had before. So because the reality is with WGU, yes, it's an accredited bachelor's degree of, in whatever field you decide. I'm always going to say that because that's the truth and that's the reality. However, because it lacks a social life and because you're going to be working at home on your own at, at the self pace that you choose, you're going to lack the social environment, which is probably going to give you connections to get jobs. You're going to lack access to a lot of the representatives in the college that will, you know, help you go to job fairs, help you find employers, help you get internships. And you're going to lack the overall prestige because once again, WGU is one of those things that you get that you do just to have the degree, just to get a piece of paper. And that is my personal position that I will continue to hold. I am someone that had a plan outside of college. I went to WGU to simply get a piece of paper that said that I completed college. That is the only value that it meant to me. That is the only time that I'd recommend people to do it. And a lot of my friends that actually ended up doing WGU after I came out and I did it and I told them about it, had the same exact plan. One of my friends actually, is that, that the only friend that I know rather that's doing it right now that's planning on using his degree is doing it alongside a boot camp. So he's planning, in his current timeline, he's gonna finish WGU within eight months of doing it, within eight months of starting rather. And on top of that, he already has a scheduled start date for a boot camp that he's going to use. Having his degree and his boot camp, he's almost guaranteed to get a job. And that's what I'd recommend for you to do if you're going to get a WGU degree and try to get a job with it. Just to recap, I got my bachelor's of computer science at 19 uh, in one year because I already had my business running. I already had a plan going. And I just wanted to have a piece of paper that said I finished it. And for anybody that's looking to do it, I highly recommend that you, you know, Observe with caution, make sure you check out your own situation, and plan accordingly when you move forward to something like this. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next one.